I need to rehome a dog. It's a small terrier. It tends to bark a lot, quite a lot actually. So if you're interested, please inbox me, email me, um, let me know in the comments, whatever, just let me know. And what I'll do is I will nip over the neighbor's fence and get the little bastard for you because you'll be doing me a huge favor. Thank you very much. Okie dokie. <laughs> How the hell? Where do I start with this one? Um, the independent newspaper here in the UK is one of the typically lefty rags. They don't give the news. They, they give you what they think you should know. And more often than not, it's lies anyway. These media institutions, these publications, these um, news stations, anything that pushes news now, anything that is under the umbrella of mainstream media, what they do is divide people and they just give you the same big news now for years on end. We have Brexit forever. We've got this plague now forever. It'll be Ukraine now forever. And they come up with the worst left-wing nonsense I have ever seen in my whole life. And I only became political in a sense that I became interested in it during my prison service career. Before that, I didn't care. I'd read newspapers, talk about it, and I didn't care. You know, it's just one of those things. Get on with my job, get on with my life. But now I see the news for what it is, and I, I don't believe a word of it because they were proven to have lied against Donald Trump. They lied during Brexit. They have lied during the plague. Um, and it's evident now that they're lying because of this Ukraine-Putin situation. They are telling us things that aren't factually correct, but that's a video for another time. And I do have proof for that, by the way. But, ah, uh, I, I mean, my God. We've got, I don't know if you can hear it here, but Storm Eunice um, is blowing outside the window pretty hard. Uh, one of the garden chairs is blown over and that's it. <laughs> it is pretty loud. We were warned yesterday that this was coming. Wales have closed schools, I believe. They definitely stopped trains from running. Here in Little England, it's business as usual, which is good. The local primary school is shut, but that's it, I think. But otherwise, here in Buckinghamshire, things are running as normal. It's just a bit of wind, isn't it? But the independent newspaper, has I mean I, I I look for things on the internet for to do videos on, all right, and this will amuse you because it came up with this. Uh, it printed this. It's on his Twitter account as well. Blue tick verified. I was blue tick verified for like a day before they go into my account. I never told you that, did I? But that's true. You can see that on my Getter account. So they printed this and it says that researchers found that hurricanes with female names result in more deaths because people take them less seriously, therefore take less precautions. Now I've lived through many storms here in the UK. I remember the 1987 infamous storm where BBC weatherman Michael Fish uh, didn't see it coming, caused two billion pounds worth of damage. I think around 18 to 20 lives lost, uh, trees flattened, whole forests flattened. Um, mass damage and the, the guy was vilified for it. My view on the weather is I'll believe it when I see it. We were told we were getting a huge snowstorm uh, previous Christmas, this Christmas. Didn't believe it, well, it didn't come, did it? We were told this storm Eunice was going to be a risk to life and it, it, it's just it's, <laughs> it's not. I met many people last night during my work shift um, and they were telling me, oh, the storm tomorrow, you're going to be working. I said, yeah, I, I drive lorries. How's that going to affect me? <laughs> God, Jesus, it's pathetic. But now left-wing rags like the independents have come up with stories like this, that if you die because you went out in this gust of wind, Storm Eunice, it's because you didn't take the storm seriously enough because it's got a female name 
and that's why you died. That's why a slate or a tile came off a roof, blown off a roof and hit you in the head. I mean, what could I say? I, 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 before doing this video, I stood there like that, thinking, my God, how do, where do I start with this? But people need to know. This is what they do. This, this is what they print. This is what they're pushing. This is what they want you to know. Uh, they, they brought sexism into a storm. Like I said, I've lived through many storms. They've all got various names. There was even a storm, Dylan, which is my first name. Um, seven years ago, something daft like that. Recently. That was a bad one. The name didn't bother me at all. They name storms after the uh, the people who work at the Met Office or whatever uh, discover them. They've had Muslim names, Welsh names, they've had all sorts of names. Does anybody care about the name? Are you a sexist if you die in a storm because you pay less attention or give it less regard because it's a female name? Really? I mean, these people will find racism and sexism, homophobia, transphobia, anything, phobia, isms in absolutely anything now. So the storm's got it. There was something else not long ago. I've completely forgotten now. It's it's just, it's just pathetic. It really is pathetic. I mean, what else? What, what can I say? Do you give a shit if the name of a storm is male or female? I mean, if if I was to associate a storm with a woman, it wouldn't just blow for a couple of hours. It would go on and on and on, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Those of you with a long-term missus, partner, girlfriend, you know what I'm talking about. And it's just banter, tongue-in-cheek, by the way. I'm not being a sexist. Or am I? Who knows? But that's the kind of shit now the mainstream media are pushing on us. And it's just blaming people for their own prejudice, so-called prejudice. And why do these people assume to know what's going on in people's minds? There are... There are people on the internet who assume that I, I, I believe that I'm a Nazi. This is what they think, these people say. This is what they think. We know what. This is what they think. You don't know what I think. I don't know what you think. Nobody knows what anyone thinks. Sexist if you die in a storm. Uh, my God. That's not the kind of stuff they should be printing because it's non-news, it's just an assumption, really, that people are sexist if they die in a storm. They should be doing stuff like this. Victoria's Secret is a lingerie company, produces sexy clothes, whatever you're into. And they've got a few models with Down syndrome parading their wares for them. I completely am against this. What they're doing is they are sexualizing some of the most if not the most vulnerable people in our society people with down syndrome i don't think we should be putting bras and knickers and suspenders on them to sell our stuff all in the name of inclusivity i think it's wrong on all levels and uh, if there was a a campaign or a petition to get this stopped, I, I'd certainly, certainly sign it. Because take advantage of them, in my opinion. I think it's sick, I think it's disgusting, I think it's exploiting a disability to your own advantage to make money and to sexualise them. No doubt it was probably some left-wing pressure lobby group that got Victoria's Secret to do this. And a big company being afraid of left-wing lobby groups just told the line, took the knee, did as they were told. It's the same everywhere, folks. It's the same everywhere. Um, they're trying to include um, people with an interest, an unhealthy interest in children into the LGBTQ alphabet um, community. They're trying to associate paedophilia and that will associate paedophilia with gay and lesbian people which of course they're not 
and I think it's really unfair on them as well. Left-wing lobby groups, extremists, left-wing extremists. This should be the news. Not people dying in a storm, going out, being blown about, being sexist because the, the name of the storm happens to be female, in my opinion. Rubbish, isn't it? It's funny. That's what I think. Whatever next. Whatever next, folks. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Be careful out there, especially if you're a sexist in the UK, because the storm will kill you. Because you clearly think it's it's nothing because it's got a female name. Be careful out there, all you sexists. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you wish to support my channel, then by all means, you can buy me a beer. The link is down below. And uh, if anyone is interested in that little bastard dog, then please email me, get in touch. It's through my fucking head in. Until my next video, comment, share, subscribe. I'm Roger Trout.